हेलो एवरी वन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन लोकेशन वेयर इट परफॉर्म्ड एंड द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ ए टी सी स्टेप्स ऑफ ई टी सी एंड द इनहिबिटर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन so let's start with the introductory part about the electron transport chain and let's discuss some general characteristics of this pathway the electron transport is part of part of aerobic respiration which means it requires oxygen for its completion the electron transport chain could be used to power oxidative phosphorylation and it is the only phase of the cellular respiration which used molecular oxygen the electron transport chain or the oxidative phosphorylation is the final stage of cellular respiration oxidative phosphorylation is basically made up of two related components which are the electron transport chain and the chemiosmosis and in this video we are going to discuss about the electron transport chain in detail the electron transport chain can be defined as series of redox reactions so now we will discuss about the location of electron transport chain or where it uh, performed within the cell so basically the electron transport chain completed in the mitochondria or the inner mitochondrial membrane in this picture we can see the diagrammatic representation of mitochondria and its inner mitochondrial membrane which forms folds or ridges within it which are known as mitochondrial cristae so in the inner mitochondrial membrane the electron transport chain completed but in the pro in the case of prokaryotes the mitochondria is not found in prokaryotes so in prokaryotes the electron transport chain completes on and across the plasma membrane and there the plasma membrane act like the inner membrane of mitochondria for these organisms now let's discuss about the significance of my electron transport chain and why it is important for the organisms so basically uh, it is the last or the final step of cellular respiration where the uh, atp generated in the process of uh, etc or electron transport chain the majority of atp generation takes place and the major ro role of the electron transport chain is to produce a transmembrane proton electrochemical gradient which produces and which helps to now we will discuss about the components of electron transport chain so these are the components which help to perform electron transport chain they are complex 1 coenzyme q complex 2 complex 3 cytochrome c and complex 4 so in this diagrammatic representation we can see the location of electron transport chain and also we can see the location of complexes or the components of electron transport chain here we can see the mitochondria and its inner mitochondrial membrane where the complexes are situated the components of electron transport chain are complex 1 coenzyme q complex 2 complex 3 cytochrome c and complex 4 which are existed in a series in inner mitochondrial membrane the complex 1 is a large multi sub unit complex which causes oxidation of nadh and passes electrons from nads to coenzyme q and it is also a acceptor of electrons from nadh and nadp the another component of electron transport chain is coenzyme q which is also known as ubiquinone it is a lipid soluble benzoquinone linked to a number of isoprene units and the name of ubiquinone denotes its ubiquitous nature for the ubiquinone the another component of electron transport chain is complex 2 which has succinate dehydrogenase and inner mitochondrial membrane bound enzyme this enzyme is an integral component of the complex 2 and helps in the functionality of the complex 2 now the complex 4 or the cytochrome c oxidase is one of the units of or components of electron transport chain complex 4 
catalyzes the transfer of electrons from reduced form of cytochrome c to molecular oxygen the complex 4 or cytochrome c is consisted of 13 subunits and contains two hemigroups. They are named as heme A and heme A3. Both the hemigroups have distinct features because of their location in different environmental situations with cytochrome C oxidase. So this is the there are the component of electron transport chain which helped in the fulfillment of this electron transport chain. And the last particle of this chain is ATP synthase which helps in the synthesis of adenosine triphosphate. In this slide we will learn the steps of electron transport chain. So the electron transport chain is completed in some basic steps which starts from the donation of electrons by electron carriers which are NADH and FADH2. Then the transfer of these electrons by mobile electron carriers and proton pumping occurs. In the third step of electron transport chain, the oxygen or the molecular oxygen splits up to the two atoms of oxygen and form water with the hydrogen ion. And in the last step, the ATP synthesis takes place with the of enzyme ATP synthase. In this diagrammatic representation, we will learn the steps of electron transport chain in detail. Here in this picture, we can see the electron transport chain which existed in the inner mitochondrial membrane. And the upper part is intermembrane space and the inner part is mitochondrial matrix. So the key steps for the process are shown in the simplified form in this diagram. The steps included the delivery of electrons from NADH and FADH2 which is the first step of electron transport chain. The NADH and FADH2 acts as an electron donor for electron transport chain and complex 1 acts as acceptor for these electrons. The reduced electron carriers from other steps of cellular respiration like glycolysis and Krebs cycle transfer their electrons to molecules near the beginning of transport chain and in this process they turn back to into NAD and FAD which can be reused for the other steps of cellular respiration. Then the other step include electron transport and proton pumping. In the next step of electron transport chain the electrons are moved from higher to lower energy level and releases energy and this energy is used to pump H plus ions who moved them from the matrix and into enter into the intermembrane space of mitochondria and this pumping establishes an electrochemical gradient across the intermembrane space and in a mitochondrial membrane. In the third step of electron transport chain the molecular oxygen or the O2 splits up into two atoms of oxygen and then it reacts with the hydrogen ions and form the molecule of water. In the final step of electron transport chain or oxidative phosphorylation with the help of ATP synthase, the H plus ions flow down their gradient and back into the matrix and they pass through an enzyme called ATP synthase which harness the flow of protons and synthesize adenosine triphosphate with the help of adenosine triphosphate. So in this slide we have learned the detailed study about the steps of electron transport chain. In this slide, we will discuss about the inhibitors of electron transport chain. So there are various molecules who interrupt the transfer of electrons throughout the complexes who are considered as inhibitors for this reaction. So there are some inhibitors. The first one is rotenone, which is also a fish poison or considered as insecticide and in this electron transport chain, it inhibits the transfer of electrons through complex 1. The another inhibitor for the electron transport chain is mu barbital, which inhibits the electrons through complex 1. 
it also act at the same site and inhibits ele inhibit electron transport through complex 1 the in another inhibitor is pleristin a which is an antibiotic and it also inhibits the flow of electrons at complex 1 antimycin a is also an antibiotic and it inhibits the electron transport chain at complex 3rd there are some molecules like cyanide, azide and carbon monoxide which also interrupt the flow of electrons and these molecules inhibit the electron transport chain at complex 4. Now, in this slide we have learned about the electron transport chain, its structure, its steps, inhibitors of electron transport chain and I hope we all have learned all these steps properly. Thank you.